Good evening, welcome. We're sitting in the studio now with Craig Russell, which is the beginning of probably what will be my weirdest interview of all time. Congratulations. How are you? <laughs> Better than Congratulations nothing. to you on your movie. Oh, yes. They should have called it Courageous, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, off the top, uh, for those people who didn't see the movie, there are a lot of rumors circulating that most of the rumor is... Uh, oh, you or most of the movie Margaret Trudeau missed it? Oh, God. Well, she was so busy taking pictures. That's not all she missed, really. No. Stop and think about it. How close to the, uh, is your life to the movie? Uh, is it based on your life? I heard that it was, or at least well, in part. It was, yes, it was, in, in a sense, because I lived with a girl named Margaret Gibson, who wrote a short story, you know, about our two years together. And um, then Richard Benner wrote uh, a very happy story out of a sad story because her, her book it's from her book The Butterfly Ward which is right, you know right. so it, I would say it's 50% uh, autobiographical I mean Robin Turner is a, a composite of about four five maybe people and I'm three of them <laughs> <laughs> what do you consider do you consider yourself a uh, an impressionist, a comedian, an actor? I consider myself a star, um, basically. Um, I'm all those things you mentioned. I'm, I'm a singer, also. I've uh, got an album out on Polydor. Um, GRT, I think it is, up here in Canada. Yeah, I believe GRT distributes for Polydor. And uh, I'm doing a new album for Casablanca in which Donna Sumner and I are going to be able to go. <sighs> Together to disco. It'll sound like... Um, are you writing the lyrics to that? or? Is it <laughs> yes, I just totally did. Totally ad-libbed. Mm, That's yeah. it right there, is it? Oh, I always write my own dialogue, honey. How close to the, uh, to, to the movie was the beginning of your career? The, uh, very close, very close except for the fact that I was doing very well as a hairdresser. And uh, Robin Turner in the movie was a very unsuccessful hairdresser. I was doing very well. I was working the Catskills, you know, with the, the German Jewish ladies, and I worked up in Bayview and Steels, and they'd say, make it higher, make it mid curls, because my husband is very tall. I said, your face is still down around its waist, honey. <laughs> I think if the top of your head reaches his shoulder, what does it matter? So I got tired of being a psychiatrist, and... Uh, Where are you from originally? Uh, Toronto. From Toronto. I was born in Toronto General Hospital. God bless Are him. you a flag-waving Canadian? How do you feel about that situation? That's not the greatest... A what? Waving? Of, a flag-waving Canadian. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not a flag-waving Canadian. I am proud of my country, though. I think it is the best country in the world. And that's why I wouldn't give up my citizenship. I fought like hell to get my green card so I could work in the U.S. of A., the excited states of America, where everyone's opinion is worthwhile. Even Anita Ekberg. <laughs> <laughs> How many women do you do in, in, in your club act? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's these pauses are going to get us in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs> um, well, I do... Um, uh, 20 ladies per show. How many of these people have you met? Well, uh, Carol Channing. Uh, it started, I worked for Mae West. That was nine months. Mm, the usual gestation period. And I learned what I had to learn there. Then um, I met Carol Channing when she came in to see the show. And she said... <gasps> Oh my gosh, she said, I never felt so loved in my life. Just to think that you wanted to look like me and sound like me. Oh, but she said, you're too feminine. She said, I'm more like a Viking. <laughs> so she taught me how to be more masculine. They say that uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. They're right. Except in some cases. Why don't you do uh, Anita Bryant? 
I do Anita Bryant. Yes, I'm going to be doing Anita Bryant live at the Imperial Room of the Royal York Hotel. But yes, I do Anita Bryant. I have a copy of the Bible and I read from Leviticus, my very favorite. Do not eat any blood, I do not eat any meat with blood still in it. <laughs> Boy, that's going to upset a lot of the gay kids, isn't it? You've never met her, have you? Yes, we had the same agent for three years. I can tell you a lot about You're Anita kidding Bryant. Me. No, I'm not. Is that right? His name was Dick Shack, and his wife, <laughs> uh, Ruth, Ruth Shack, excuse me, hockey person, um, his wife, Ruth Shack, um, fought for civil rights. And he said the funny thing that Anita calls her campaign Save Our Children but I have three children and I've known her for 16 years and she doesn't know one of their names so the whole thing is a, is a, is a big act it's backed by Regan's money it's just a, you know it's a lot of BS oh and I do mean Barbara Streisand oh. Those eyes, when you do, you, it's unfortunate that people can't see this, because when you cross your eyes when you do Streisand, it's amazing. Well, how can they see How does she feel radio? about that? How does she feel about that? Barbara Streisand? Because to me, it, She says, you wear too much lip gloss. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who's your favorite lady? Uh, my favorite lady. My mother, Norma. <laughs> or my favorite lady to impersonate, I think it's uh, Tallulah Bankhead. I wish she was still alive. Sometimes I'm afraid she is. Because <laughs> Tallulah used to say, too many of our brothers wear ignorance as a badge of honor. Anything they don't understand, they hate. She was all for freedom and liberty. And that's what I'm for. Have you ever considered doing impressions of men? Of men? Yes, I do impressions of men. I do W.C. Fields. I got freaked out. I do Louis Armstrong. But I do the Bumble. Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. I do um, quite a few men. You have an incredibly powerful voice, you know. Thanks. I like your shoes, too. You like those? You could have them if you wanted. Uh, I'll take them off. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly, you know that. I know, I know, but so are you. And That's what makes it all worthwhile, you know, because everybody is so serious about everything. Well, I'm serious about absolutely nothing. Good, we'll get along fine. Now, I'm glad that this isn't on television. <laughs> Why? Well, probably because of what you're wearing. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't Dish, that was Wedgwood. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wanted to say that it, it's good to be back in Toronto, my hometown, and to uh, and the Imperial Room. Um. It must be exciting for you to work a room. And I, I, when I first heard of it, to be quite honest with you, when I heard that you were going into the Imperial Room, I thought, oh, really? Because the Imperial Room <laughs> is not really as a customer. Is uh, no, no, because the Imperial Room is probably one of the uh, straightest rooms, if I can use that term. Yes, well, originally, um, from what I understand, you see, it was George Anthony and uh, Gino Empri that fought to get me the booking there, because they said, uh, "Hey, we don't want no fag act. You know, we don't want no gay act." And then uh, four days after they announced it. Uh, the reservations started pouring in and like they're sold out I think the first Friday and Saturday so you see it's not a gay act when I was in New York I played 12 weeks sold out and it was 75% I'd say couples over 40 you what know? kind of fan mail do you get? I get a lot of fan mail from um, disturbed lonely people from psychiatric nurses from psychiatric patients I get a lot of because of the film Outrageous um, I get a lot of mail from from parents who say thank you for making that film now I understand that I should love my child rather than condemn him for being different do you feel that most of your uh, your following is a gay following no no, I feel um, about 20% mm, of them are a little, 
Well, you know. Boys' night out is Thursday, isn't it? What night is it tonight? It's Thursday. Oh, I'm going to see Peter Allen then. There's the boy of all time. Ha <laughs> I go to Rio. I wish they could see the looks on your face. I go to Rio. <clears throat> I honestly love you. I honestly love you. This is a fascinating interview. <laughs> Who writes your material? I do. Henny Youngman? In crayon. In crayon. How long have you been doing this? What time is it now? Mm, quarter after one. <laughs> well, about 15 minutes. <laughs> no, I've been um, doing my act. Uh, I started in the uh, clubs in Toronto, uh, the Manatee, in 1970, December. And then I went professional. I stopped being a hairdresser. You know, I was doing the impressions on the weekends in the gay clubs because the um, so-called straight clubs... Oh, I'm so tired of these labels. Ugh. Straight to me means somebody that's not on drugs. Um, anyway... Can you make a living working, or can an artist make a living working just gay clubs alone? Yes, you can make uh, 2000 a week. That's a living. It's a living. <laughs> How many weeks a year do you work clubs? Is, are clubs what you want to do? Uh, Colleges, uh, clubs? Well, I'm Movies going into concerts, actually. After the, um, after the Royal York engagement, I'm playing the Place des Arts. Place des Arts. Place des Arts. Oh, I'm going to, in Montreal, the Place Desserts, I'm going to call it. Place Desserts when I go on. Um, and then I'm playing the um, Berkeley Center in Boston on March 18th. And I'll be doing concerts through probably Hamilton Place, Vancouver. All the places where the uh, movie has been successful. It's all been due to the movie, too. Yes, it has. I must say, all my success has been due to the film. What's your name again? My name is Ted. Ted what? Wallishan. Ted Wallishan. Hello, Ted Wallishan. Hi. I'm Craig Russell. I, we've met. Thank nice, you. Nice meeting you. Thank you again. Bye. Bye. Well, that was an interview that uh, uh, was taped a while ago with Craig Russell who, uh, in the meantime, has, has concluded seven nights at the Imperial Room and uh, done extremely well. And if you want to catch him, you can still do so tomorrow or Tuesday night. And thanks to uh, the people at Gino Empery's office and uh, especially Simone for arranging this for us.